Living in a studio is, uh, it's hard. Yes, it changes you as a human being. Like I used to fantasize about what I feel normal people fantasize about. Like sometimes we'd be like, man, a threesome, that'd be kind of fun. <laughs> Ferrari, that'd be cool. That'd be fun. Now all I do, I just fantasize about having a hallway. <laughs> like a really long hallway, you guys. <laughs> like one I can just kind of rub my fingers down. <laughs> and also in this fantasy, somebody's at the other end of this hallway and they say something, but they're so far away because I'm at the other fucking end of this hallway that I have to pop out and I'd be like, what'd you say? <laughs> You want to get Thai food again? <laughs> and then I get a pop back in. And they can't see me. <laughs> Living in a studio that was good economically and not just because of the rent, it keeps you depressed, which makes living very cheap. <laughs> Like, when, when you're feeling good and you're happy, you're going out, you're going to dinners, you're buying tickets. That's, that's money down the goddamn drain. It costs me no money to stay at home and sit in my studio apartment and watch Shawshank Redemption on TBS for the millionth time. Why is Shawshank Redemption always on TBS? It makes no sense. It's not a happy movie. It's just ridiculous. I feel like somebody at TBS, some guy was going through some divorce, some TBS executive, and they were like, all right, we got 80% of our airtime open. What are we going to play? And he's just like, well, Karen hates Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> and now Karen's only going to watch Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> 